Welcome back fellow Pokemon Go trainers to episode 5, can you believe it, the days are zooming by of our Pokemon Go adventure. Today is going to be an epic one, and on top of that earlier day, I let you guys in on a little secret as to how you can actually start the game off with Pikachu. So to the end of this video, there'll be a link down below in the description, go and check it out if you haven't seen it already. But what's going to be happening this episode, well, it's going to be a big one, I have an epic, epic amount of experience lined up to give my character that not only I'm going to be using this episode, but you guys can use this tactic as well to rank up as quickly as possible. Last episode was by far the craziest Pokemon Go episode so far. Claire's going to be joining us again today, so hopefully today's going to be even more epic and even more awesome. But as always, before we head out into the wild, finding new locations, new Pokemon, we're going to start here in the Pokemon Go headquarters and let you guys know what's happening. So we have some epic stuff lined up for this episode. Not a lot of it's going to be happening right here. Most of it will be happening out and about, but I want to tell you guys what's going to be happening. So I am so close to level 10. One more capture, one more almost anything will push me over. So that's one of the first things that will happen today. And I'm really excited to see what items I'll get if I get anything new. On top of that, I finished off last episode by telling you guys I had loads and loads of Pokemon to evolve. And I'm so glad I did not do them at the end of last episode. I'm so glad that I saved it for this one. Because it's going to be linking in with the mad XP that we're going to be getting today at some point. Now, obviously, Claire and I are on Team Mystic, Team Blue. So any gyms we come across today, we're going to be trying to smash down together and throw our Pokemon into to make it ours. In terms of new Pokemon I'm looking out for, I'm always looking out for a Ghastly or a Haunt or a Gengar ultimately is what I really really want but any new Pokemon to fill up our Pokedex would be absolutely amazing and obviously I told you guys you need about 101 magic harps to get it into a Gyarados since that video loads of you guys have eventually gotten Gyaradoses and tweeted me pictures so congratulations so that will be one of our goals at some point as well so any magic harps we can come across will also be great help towards finally getting that Gyarados so one really epic potentially really epic thing that will definitely be happening this episode will be the hatching of our 10 kilometer egg some of you guys have gotten Snorlaxes some of you guys have gotten Onyx. Some of you guys have gotten starting Pokemons. Crazy Pokemons have come from these 10 kilometer eggs and we're so close to hatching them. We've got two more in our inventory as well. So eggs are definitely going to be coming along our way today and I can't wait. So honestly guys, I think that is it from the headquarters. Most of the action is going to be happening out and about today. So let's go exploring. Give it a thumbs up if you're excited for another Pokemon Go episode. Let's do this. Now today's episode is going to be slightly different because I've actually found an app that allows me to record my iPhone screen. So rather than poking my camera in front of the screen and like it being really bad quality and not being able to see the screen properly. For the whole of this episode, you'll be able to directly see what's happening on my iPhone screen. So if you like that view better than what we've done previously, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Alright guys, so starting off this episode, a, lot, a lot's about to go down. We've got our Meowth near us, which is going to push me over if I capture it to level 10, which is awesome. And we've also got a little bit of a pokey stop, so we're going to grab that and see what we can get. Oh, okay, decent stuff, decent stuff, not too bad. But unfortunately, it's not quite enough. Yo, 50 XP, I'm literally 15 XP off of level 10. A wild Meowth has appeared, which we got from an egg the other day. So this is going to be potentially... Oh, a great throw. Yo, thumb flick. Next level Pokemon skills. Okay, one roll, two roll. Yo, yo. No, it went out. This is not cool. This is not cool. Meowth, chill. That was a great throw. You don't do that to me. Okay, it's not a great throw this time, but it, it, it's on target. Yes, go, baby. All right, this is level 10. And I want to say, hopefully, you get something good for rolling over to level 10. So we'll have to see what happens and see what rewards we're going to be getting for reaching that next landmark. On top of that, guys, the first time I personally have ever seen this, a starter Pokemon is nearby. Now, it's Squirtle, one we've already got, but remember, to evolve it into a War Turtle, we need to capture as many of these things as we can. Now, it's three steps away. We're, we're, we're quite close to home, to be honest. We're meant to be driving miles away to start this adventure, but I think, potentially, we may try and track this down because it'd be an epic, epic capture. All right, guys, we've just hit level 10. Let's see what items we're going to get. Yo, loads of stuff on there, and the egg incubator is actually exactly what I wanted. Firstly, the one that I was given before is almost run out of usages but another one means we can get three on the go currently which is awesome so i want to give a shout out to my guy cage i believe his name is we actually just met him as we were driving down this road he recognized us and he's also playing pokemon go and he's a part of the blue squad so to help obviously blue squad out myself and claire are going to throw a pokemon in there to make the gym even stronger i think what are you throwing in? you're throwing an eraticate yeah yeah all right claire's throwing eraticate in i think i'm going to throw eraticate in as well so you my friend can go and join the blue gym and make it as strong as possible and it should now be tier three with three blue Pokemon in there. Guys, it's bad news for the squirt, unfortunately. We've done loops and loops and loops, but this right here is Ascot Racecourse. It's absolutely huge. And with our next level Pokemon Go tracking skills, we think it's in there. We 
can't access it unfortunately, so for the time being we just have to leave it alone. But who knows, for the rest of today we could come across anything, a Baltor, a Squirtle, a Charmander, hopefully we do. On top of that I just noticed that for each level 10 you also get access to super potions for the first time, some new items being accessed as well which is awesome. Alright guys, I've literally pulled over because I just found a Ghastly and I've never found one before, but I'm walking past the bus stop. Bumped into these guys. Say hello, everyone. Hi, hi. And uh, you, guys, you guys watched my Pokemon Go video from yesterday, right? Yeah. Are you liking it? I love it. Have you haven't had a chance to play it yet? No, because it's not coming out yet. That's the thing. Like the app isn't out worldwide yet. But shout out to all of these guys. But we need to head on and capture this Ghastly. Right, literally right now, there's a Ghastly, a Pidgeotto, and a Rattata. But we're going to go for this Ghastly. And oh man, it's the first time that I hopefully can catch it. Last week just didn't work. So it's only 10 CP. It should be easy capturable. It's easy. Yes. Look at that. Boom, baby. Ghastly has been added to the Pokedex. We are on our way, eventually, eventually, to getting that Gengar. I literally want it so bad. It's unreal. So that's going to give us a load of XP. We're getting closer now to level 11. I'm going to go on and capture these two Pokemon. There's also a Fero nearby. If you ever see that Pokemon that's on my screen right now in the middle, it's a, it's a Fero. It's not a Ho-Ho or anything. Loads of you guys have been tweeting me saying if you found a Ho-Ho. Not the case, unfortunately. All right, guys. So we were just going up this road, and a slow poke appeared on my map. It was zero steps away, so it should have spawned on me, but it just didn't. I was like, Claire, we're turning around, spin the car back around, we find it the second time. This is a two, six, eight slow poke. So I've never caught one before. Definitely throwing a raspberry at it. We need to make this guy, you know, nice and sweet so we can <laughs> capture him hopefully first time because otherwise it's just not gonna happen. This is gonna be a tough capture. Two, six, eight is probably one of the higher ones I've ever done. I'm gonna go for a spin ball. Luckily it's only yellow. It's not like it's orange or anything. Orange and red would be the hardest ones to capture. So, Pokeball is in. One roll, two roll, three roll. That's what I'm talking about, baby. First time capture. That's that is it. We sweetened him up <laughs> nice and beautifully. 600 XP. Look at this big fatty right there. Obviously, Slowpoke evolves into Slowbro, but 50 candies to do that. We're probably going to have to get a Slowpoke and an egg or something to get all of those easy candies, but an awesome capture. More XP for me. It's going well today. Guys, this is going to be epic. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. This is a 10 kilometer. I don't think it's a 2 kilometer. I'm pretty sure it's a 10 kilometer egg. All right, guys, I've never hatched one of these in my life. So let's, my friends, open it up and see just what we're going to get from this egg. Please, please, a Pidgeotto. I beg that was my two, I beg that was my two kilometer egg. Well, yo, okay, that was, that was definitely a two kilometer egg. I pray that was a two kilometer egg. This one hopefully is a 10 kilometer egg. I pray, I pray, I pray. Come on, gods, I beg, gods, I beg. Give me something unreal. <gasps> no, it's Electrobuzz. We've already caught him. We spent all of last episode trying to capture him. Yo, 32 Electrobuzz candies. So if I start ranking this guy up, he's going to become an absolute machine. So this is going to take me actually quite a while to do. But, oh man, 10 coins to egg, our first one. And it's a Pokemon we've already got. Kind of disheartening. But you know what? I'm going to rank him up and he's definitely going to become, at the moment, our best Pokemon. All right, guys. So everything you've seen up to this point has actually been us getting to where we're going to be spending the day. Today we spent the day in Windsor. Really, really nice place. It's super popular. So many people people and tourists around but the more important thing is not where we are what's going on it's the fact we found a polywag box or a wild polywag i've never had one of these before it's a 133 rated so it's actually pretty legitimate oh first ball miss come on ali there's people around you've got to perform you know what i mean you've got to perform oh it's attacking us and everything it doesn't want to happen yo there we go okay it's in the pokeball it's in the pokeball come on what have you seen it's called goose Give us geese, swans, swans, it's alright, whatever. They're gonna give us luck. No, they didn't give us any luck. They didn't like the fact that I named them the wrong thing. Swans are horrible to me. Yeah, one of them's bitten me on the thumb before, not even joking <laughs> you. That's lit. That is a great throw, my friends. Great throw. It's looking good right now. Come on. One, two, three. Let's go. Uh, Pokemon Master Ali hitting up Windsor for the day. Brand new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. It's gonna give us even more XP. And the location we're in, the reason we come to like big town centers is because there's Poke Stops everywhere, there's gyms everywhere. Fair spot is one of the Poke Stops with a lure on them already. So there's loads of Pokemon going around here. This is gonna be an epic day of catching Pokemon again, trust me. Guys, unreal plays, unreal plays. I swear to God, as soon as I just stopped recording that Poliwag capture, just here in the middle of the water, a freaking, I'm not even joking, a freaking Dratini appeared. Look at this right now. It's only 42, but like Dragonite is literally the king of all dragon Pokemon. And I need this right now. One, two, yo, yo, yo! And actually mad, my friend. Let's go. This place is lit. This place is actually so lit. Not only is it a beautiful, beautiful weekend day, but we've got ourselves a Dratini and a Poliwag and we've literally only just parked up in Windsor. How mad is that? If I actually show you guys what's nearby me, there's also a Goldeen nearby, a Clefairy nearby. It's just popped up as I'm talking to you. And also a Machoke nearby. So the potential today is unreal. I feel like 
Today's has been a bit unreal. Not only have we got a Poliwag and then a Dratini, and now I've got a Staryu and a Goldeen all on my screen in literally five minutes. So I'm gonna go for the Goldeen first. Staryu is just gonna be a bonus, like to get a few more of those candies to hopefully eventually evolve into a star meat. But third roll, yes! There we go, baby. Goldie, a brand new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. That's epic. Even more XP for us, which is just unreal. So this is going down crazy. So for this gym battle, Claire and I are going to try and take it on at the same time. Now, if you take a look at this, look at my Electrobuzz. Six, seven, two. Are you mad? This guy's going to get smashed. <laughs> unreal scenes here, my friend. So in we go. Actually, I don't know what moveset my uh, Electrobuzz has. I know the other one had Thunderbolt, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter, does it? We're just going to smash this guy. Oh my god, I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad for him. Let's use my special. What even is it? Thunder Punch. Oh my god, this guy's ripped. This guy's so ripped. <laughs> unreal. Unreal right now. He's going to get absolutely destroyed. He's gone. He's gone. How easy was that? How easy was that? So I think for this one, I'm going to fill it up with a Pidgey Otto. Just uh, uh, maybe a Jinx? I don't know. Watch, you know what? Actually, I'm going to put in my Electrobuzz because I've obviously got a better one now. So this is going to be my secondary Electrobuzz. We're going to fill it up and I'm going to make that my blue gym. And I think Claire's going to put her Pokemon in as well. So we're stacking gyms and it's our first battle of the day. I know this guy's rubbish, but honestly, any EV I can get right now is amazing. So what I'm doing is I'm actually saving up for enough for potentially three EV ever Evolution, so I can try all three and potentially, potentially in one episode, try and get Jolteon, Vaporeon and Flareon all at once. You guys have always been tweeting me your evolutions and they're always so sick. So welcome Eevee, a brand new Eevee member to our squad. Alright, so we stopped off for a tactical food break, as you do. And obviously we're Team Mystic, Team Blue, and I'm holding that down, alright? I love Team Blue. But in the last episode, I asked you guys which team you're on. It was a big split. I'd say Red is heavily supported, heavily supported. I think Red and Blue are definitely like the most dominant teams right now. Yellow fall a little bit behind. If you are Team Yellow, represent down below in the comment section. But we've just found another gym. So the one that Claire and I own is just down the road there. The one right next to us, literally we're sitting here eating lunch, which is very convenient. He's also Team Blue, so, yo, I can't put on it. Yo, it's too, too far away. Did you manage to put one in? Uh, no, my, my character walked away. Oh, what? All right, so somehow <laughs> my character's like glitched closer to the gym. I'm gonna throw in Eraticate. It's not amazing, but like Eraticate, I'm never really gonna bother powering it up. I don't care that much about them. So we've thrown in our Eraticate now. So it's now a level tier two gym, I believe. So Claire's gonna throw her Pokemon in next as well. Represent Team Blue, baby. <laughs> look, we're sitting here eating our lunch. And if you have a look at this. Yo, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? What the hell? Yo, I'll take that. <laughs> I'm not even anywhere near it, but I'll take it. Yo, so that little battle animation there basically means that the gym is being attacked. So our gym currently is being attacked by someone. Someone out there is attacking our gym. Who is it? Back down, fam, because Team Blue are going to smash you otherwise. All right, guys, since our gym keeps on getting attacked, I think we've actually lost the one by the water fountain. What I'm going to do, make sure you guys are doing this as well, is go to the shop, and I'm actually just going to cash in what we've got at the moment. So I'm going to click that. And that's going to give us 20 coins, 1,000 of the like magic dust stuff when you like level up a Pokemon and make it better. And just basically secure that. Now you can only do that once every 21 hours. So I've got to wait 21 hours to cash in again. But make sure you're doing it because it's worth having it rather than losing the gyms and having nothing to cash in. So when we're sitting there having lunch, I told you guys one of our gyms has been taken. It was this guy right here. Richard came along for Team Valor, Team Red. And it's literally, and it's just watch him beat our gym <laughs> and take it out. And I think it's quite crazy the app isn't even out here and we're, I'm still bumping into yeah, people yeah. everywhere we go. So Richard, I hate you right now, but <laughs> good game, well done, and good luck on the rest of your adventure. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is going to be the part of the video where we explain how you get a mad amount of XP extremely, extremely quickly. We're sat in a really nice park here. It's super pretty here. It's really, really nice and... Yo, that's really cool. But the beauty of this place is not the reason we're here. The reason we're here is because we're sat in between two pokey stops. So exactly what we're about to do, let me break it down and explain how you guys can do it as well. So for you guys to do this, you're gonna need a lucky egg. We both got one. We got ours from ranking up in the game, but you can also buy them from the store. And what the lucky egg is gonna do is give you double XP for 30 yeah. minutes. That's right. So that's why we put ourselves in between two pokey stops. What we're gonna be doing, because they take five minutes to refresh, so we're gonna be going through those Poke stops throughout the 30 minutes, which means in total we can go through 12. I think they give you 100 XP each time you do it, but this is where the real XP comes in. We're going to be evolving as many things as we can. So what we've both done is got a load of candies for the basic Pokemon. We're talking Caterpies, we're talking Pidgeys, we're talking Weedles, and we're going to evolve as many as we can while the Lucky Eggs are active, and it should give us thousands upon thousands of XP. So on top of that, to make sure we get as many Pokemon as we can in 30 minutes, we both 
hub alert module that we're going to put on these Pokestops and that's going to draw in all the Pokemon right to where we're sitting. So what we're going to do is show you which level we're currently at now, come back in 30 minutes time and show you just how much we've ranked up. Let's go. So I'm going to be starting off with about 8,700 XP, level 10. I think we could get close to level 12. That's how much we're going to get. Let's kick it off. So one of the big evolutions I'm doing during this big XP grind is turning Drowsy into Hypno. I've never had a Hypno before, so we're going to go ahead and evolve this dude, my friends. Let's do this. Woo! So there we go. Hypno, how good is he? He's coming up his rank right now. He's 403. That is pretty epic, and we've got so many more evolutions to go. All right, guys, there we are. Level 11, baby. I've literally only evolved a few Pokemon so far, and we're currently at 2,800. Level 11. I've got so many more Pidgeys in the bank, so many more Rattatas. We've got a few items from that leveling up. Not massively. I think level 12 could be better. All right, guys, an AR Eevee battle is about to go down as I'm doing all of this mad, mad XP grind. So I'm going to feed it a Raspberry. There we go. Beautiful. And Oh man, I really should use my finger for this. I'm gonna go with a thumb throw, okay? I'm gonna go for a thumb spin throw. If this works, yo! A great thumb spin throw. Are you mad right now? Come on, Eevee. Two, two, six, Eevee. One roll, two roll, three roll. Yo! First time capture. Thumb spin, great capture on Eevee. That's lit. That is our greatest Eevee. When it comes to evolution, she's gonna be first in line to turn into something epic. So one of the lures literally just brought in a 182 Zubat, which is amazing because I was actually about to evolve a Zubat that I already have, which is only like 1-2 something. So I'm going to go to my Zubat right here, and this evolution will not only change it into an awesome Golbat, but also now round us off to level 12, and I've still got more evolutions to go. So let's evolve this bad boy, see what CP this Golbat's going to be, and then see what we get from level 12 as well. Holy cow, the Golbat is 5 70, 570, so I've got a 670 Electro Buzz, 570 Gold Bat, and a 400 Hypno, and I haven't even like ranked them up or anything. If I click on his Gold Bat and like power him up a little bit, what's he gonna go to then? Is he gonna go over 600? Oof, almost 600, I'm definitely gonna rank that guy up. Yo, there we go, so, no, I've all 20 Pokemon. All right, well, I thought we were gonna level up to 12, but you know, do what you wanna do. All right, level 12, Great Bull, yo! I got Great Balls, no yeah. way. So I knew you could get Ultra Balls at level 20. I'd seen people post it on Reddit, but let's take a look at this. So we've got 20 Great Balls, a good high performance Pokeball that provides a higher catch rate than a standard Pokeball. That is awesome. That is epic. I, I don't know, like the next good Pokemon I come up against, I guess, I'll use a Great Ball on it and show you guys what it's like. Guys, absolutely gutting. I'll show you the footage now, but an Abra randomly appeared because of our lure. Claire went and caught it. I went to throw a Pokeball, it got out, and just like in the games, it teleported away straight away, so I didn't freaking catch it, unfortunately. But we're still grinding away at double XP, baby. We are going to hit a high level. All right, guys, there you go. We've hit level 13 with about three minutes left, so this is by far just an unreal way of leveling up. All right, guys, we're heading back to the car park now. This is actually where we started off today, caught the Dratini, caught the Poliwag, so I ended up finishing just over level 13. So went up over two levels, I think, which is absolutely unreal. The one thing Claire and I worked out we should have done is actually put an incense down as well to ultimately max out the amount of XP we could have gotten. So make sure guys to get the maximum amount of XP, put down an incense to your Pokemon towards you. Stand near as many Pokestops in the vicinity as possible, put down lures on those Pokestops and then also evolve as many basic level Pokemon as possible. Take the least amount of candy, so that's Caterpies, Weedles, Pidgeys, all of the basic Pokemon that you normally don't care about, and you will rank up insanely. So there you go, guys. Good luck on Pokemon Go. So welcome back home, guys. I apologize. I don't have a top on right now. I'm literally finishing the edit for this daily Pokemon Go video at 2 a.m. Tonight, I had the option of getting into bed or going back downstairs to the Pokemon HQ, which I'm literally working on right now. And because you guys are amazing, I've stayed up to edit today's video to get it out for you guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed another awesome episode. I'll show you guys how my team's looking after that epic XP grind tomorrow in next episode. Do not worry. But if you've enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribing for daily Pokemon Go videos. I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.